me again, only this time with makeup. So none of my friends really believe me when I tell them I'm living in a construction zone. So I thought I'd give you a bird's eye view of what my life is. Now if you know me, it's kind of, um, I don't know, crazy because I'm very detail oriented. I'm sort of obsessive about having things neat and organized. And doing this apartment has given me <laughs> sort of like this inner strength to not be such a fanatic about how things need to be. Um, you're probably wondering why I even moved here so early. Well, it's because I didn't really have a choice. I couldn't keep renting in Airbnbs in dollars when I work in pesos. So I'm going to show you what my place looks like. Okay, <coughs> you enter in this door. Ta-da! And this, we're going to go look at what will be the kitchen. I guess I should turn a light on here. It's kind of hard to walk because there's newspapers and paper all over. Okay, this is my kitchen. Yes, can you see? <laughs> um, what was here before was a disaster. All the cables, you can see like where the electrician had to put the cables in the wall. The people who were living here before had all the cables. They just strung it from the breaker box, which is over here, to wherever they needed it. So cables were hanging everywhere. So I had to change that. Then the kitchen cabinets were a disaster. So they're going to go here. And I don't know if you can see this, but I had to put all new plumbing in. And I know that's really exciting. Um, the refrigerator is going to go here. And here's where my refrigerator is now, kind of in the middle of the floor, covered. At least my painter is really great because he covers everything. And so I've been with a refrigerator. And can you see this? My Samsung microwave which I love. Oh my God, they've really improved microwaves in the last 20 years. This one's actually great. It cooks really well. And it has a grill, but I haven't really tested that yet. So over here where I am, there'll be kitchen cabinets. I have a stove top. And then over here, which doesn't, it's kind of hard to do this, which doesn't look like anything. It's going to be like a bank where it'll, not like a bank where you can get money, I wish, um, as long as somebody else would fill it. It will be like where my stove goes and my microwave. So that's going to be cool. And then I closed in the stairs. For two reasons. One, I needed storage. Two, I don't like to see Jerry Brown's litter box. And he is, Maxie will eat his food if he isn't separated. So that's going to kind of be Jerry Brown's room. And then also, because this is a sort of narrow room, it gives a little bit more definition. So like over here in this mess, which you can't really see, is where the couch is going to go. And then here, oh, you know what's really cool? The one thing that's really, well, there's a lot of things cool, is that this has electric shades, which I never had before, so it's kind of neat. And you know I have the terrassa because you saw that video. Well, I also have a balcony, which one day is going to be cool. Well, you can see the building in front. You can't really see, but it's a nice balcony. It has wood, and I'm. It'll be cool. I'm gonna like put bamboo so you don't get have to see the the back. So, anyways, here is Jay Brown's room under the stairs. So, yeah, one day this will be together. And I made it big enough so you, I might even be able to put a dryer there. It even has a light. Okay. So now, as I, like, kill myself stepping on newspapers, we go up the stairs. I should go backwards, but I'm not dancing tango. 
So we're going up the stairs. You can see maybe what it looks like down there. I'm not very good at this. And we're at the top of the stairs. And now you can see like here. Before they used like this area here to put their bed. And then I like, you can see here, like up to about here, they made this room for their kid. Well, this is what I'm using as my bedroom. It has a little closet where I can put my tons of makeup. Anyways, I made the room bigger so that I had a bigger space for a, bath, a bedroom. And then this area here, where you see all this crap, is going to be, well, it already is, where I have all my stuff, my computer, and my really cool desk I got. And then here, I created a walk-in closet. Yeah, cool. It's really cool. So, you all know I love clothes. So, this gives me a lot of space for all my clothes. And then, the bathroom was a disaster. I mean, it looks like a disaster now, but you have no idea what a disaster it was. It was really small. So, wait, can I turn this around? This is like really hard to do. I have to learn how to do this better. But I have the shower and the sink. It had a bidet, and then for some stupid reason, there was a window that didn't do anything, which I had them block up. That's a big gray thing. So I couldn't get any architect to do this for me. They all argued. Like over here, where you see this on the door, I made the opening wider and I'm going to put a barn door there. It's being made because to have a door go into the bathroom, it just was like wrong, wrong, wrong. And so every architect that I talked to like said, you can't take the bidet out of the bathroom. This is Argentina. We use them here. Well, I don't care. I'm not Argentine. I'm Americana and we don't use bidets and I can put one on the inside of the toilet if I really care, which I don't. And they all said, no, there's no such thing as barn doors here. Well, then how come they sell the kids on Mercado Libre? Duh. So, yeah, that's being done. And then this here is a balcony door, which is kind of neat. When I'm sitting at my desk, I can, I'm going to turn this into an atrium with lots of plants. And, oops, sorry, that's how you go up to the terrace. 